What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here. On today's edition of Gear Gods Quality Control, we're gonna be taking a look at this here itty bitty teeny weeny orange terror stamp. The orange terror stamp is a teeny tiny little pedal board amplifier head. This little thing is 20 watts. It's powering this big old 4x12 cab. We've got this orange 4x12 cab. It is mic'd up with a Lewitt MTP 440. As you can see, it is extraordinarily simple. Four knobs, one volume switch that switches between the two different volume levels that you can have preset, like one for your rhythm and one for your solo tone. Then you've got a shape knob, which is orange's proprietary tone knob. And then we've got the gain and that's it. There's an effects loop into which I have placed the cock blocker gate. And then I've got an ice cream pedal from Iconic Guitars. This is an overdrive we're gonna use in a little while to boost the terror stamp, but right now it is off. There's also a cab sim headphone out that you can use for silent practice or direct recording if you like. So now you know what it is. You wanna know what it sounds like. I'm gonna show you that right now. First up, let's see how much gain we've got on this thing. Quite a bit, but not a ton. I usually like at least a little bit more than that. Um, so later on, we're gonna try boosting it, but that's what we've got for now. Let's take a listen through the different tones that we can get out of the shape knob with the gain all the way up, because that's how I like it. Cool, so that's a very broad range of tones and it changes continuously as you turn it. Um, there's a couple different parameters that it's changing as it's going. It's not just like boosting the high end or cutting the low end or something like that. It's doing a whole bunch of different things as you go through it. So I really like it right about here. Yeah, that's a good sound for me. It's uh, not quite as brash as when it was all the way to the left when it's like really mid-range heavy, but it's not quite as scoopy as when it's all the way to the right. Sounds good to me. So you're on the gig, you're chunking away. Now it's time for you to take your solo now all of a sudden you're way louder. So people can hear your licks. Now either what's going to happen is that everybody's gonna hear you or the sound guy's gonna get really pissed off and turn you down, but that's not gonna happen to you because you were nice to the sound guy and you bought him a beer before the show, right? So now you've heard what the amp sounds like with some chuggy riffs straight in. Now I'm gonna try boosting it because it kind of doesn't have quite as much gain as I personally would like, so I'm gonna turn on the Eye Scream from Iconic Guitars and uh, see how that sounds. Now I'm gonna crank up the tone knob, get it real nice and tight. Yeah, sounds awesome actually. I'm pretty impressed. This thing is so tiny, it's 20 watts. Uh, you could go in through the effects loop in and use like a modeler and just use this as your power amp. Obviously, as you heard, it sounds pretty awesome by itself. I think it sounds a little bit better with a, a boost or maybe just some higher output pickups, but 
stands completely on its own. This could be your whole rig here. You just have, have this in a cab and you're good to go, depending on what kind of sound you're looking for. All right, that's about enough with the metal. <clears throat> Let's hear what it sounds like with a Strat, with some single coils, play some rock and roll. Yeah, sounds perfect with the Strat, actually. And then here it is with the gain all the way up. So there you have it, folks. The orange terror stamp, it's tiny. It sounds pretty awesome, and it's loud enough that I probably pissed off my neighbors tonight. The philosophical, lingering question that I'm left with is, how much smaller can they make these and still sound this good? Is this the threshold? Is this the smallest it's going to get? Because obviously this is already the smallest orange amp ever, and so far they've only been getting smaller. If they continue this trend, will they still be able to sound this good. So I guess congratulations are in order to Orange for squeezing that classic orange tone into so small of a package and making it sound so good. Very impressive. Thanks so much for watching guys and as always, mash that subscribe button, smack the bell to join the notification squad, drop me a like and leave a comment in the comments section letting me know how much smaller you think these could possibly ever get. I mean, I didn't think it would even be able to be this small and sound this good. Do you think it can get even smaller? I wanna know, and I'll see you real soon.